Hi, I'm Molly Gold, I'm an organization expert, and today we're talking senior year tips, your calendar. Every busy mom knows that once you get to May and June, depending on your school year, you are awash in can't miss dates from the end of the season, competition playoffs, to the end of the school year picnic, to exams, you name it, our calendars are basically in lockdown. And when it comes to your senior year, it's even more important that you know these dates are coming and you plan for them well in advance. So here are my tips to help you with the calendar during your child's senior year. First, Yearbook pictures. You might not realize this, but many high schools now do a uniform dress for the yearbook picture. Tuxedo for the boys, a basic black drape for the girls. This is something that they put on as a drape that you don't have to supply, and those pictures for seniors are taken in the summer. Who knew? Next, cap and gown. The ordering for cap and gown usually happens in October. Yes, you need it in May or June, but you gotta order it in October. And there's a lot of kids who don't necessarily let their parents know about that. So that's one of those things that you're gonna have to keep an eye out for the email from the school that tells you when the company that's gonna supply that, in our case, Justin's, is gonna be on campus in order to get those ordered. Tickets for graduation. Ooh, are these a hotly contested item? Many high schools have limited attendance for graduation based on the facility that they have the event in. Let's face it, with a graduation graduating class of 700 kids, if everybody gets six tickets, that's 4,200 people. That's a lot of people at one graduation. So you may find that you can only get a certain number of tickets a couple of extra by a lottery system, and after that, you're gonna have to be begging, borrowing, and stealing. So you need to plan ahead for when those graduation ticket announcements become available so that you can get whatever extra lottery assignments might be available to you, and then gently find out who might not be using all of the tickets that they're allotted in case you have more family members than you have tickets for. The other piece of this is you wanna give yourself more than enough time for those tough conversations about who could actually attend your child's graduation. Graduation announcements. Very important to do this with more than enough time. The great thing is so many uh, stationers, both online and in real life in storefronts, can get you a graduation announcement within a timely capacity. It just depends on what you wanna do. Me personally, by the time we get to graduation, we're gonna be so busy, I don't need to have a picture of my son in his cap and gown on his graduation announcement. I'd rather get those done and addressed and have them mailed out on the day that he actually graduates. But that's just me. And I'm not doing an invitation for a party, so you gotta factor that in too. You wanna back it out, just like any social event, you wanna send out that party invitation with more than enough time for everybody to RSVP and enable you to plan. And then finally, the two most important dates are gonna be those, well, three. Exams, which is really hard to stay focused for with senioritis. Baccalaureate, which is really easy to overlook because it might not happen at your high school and it might be optional. And then of course the graduation date itself. So as you're looking forward to your child's senior year, yes, it's the spring, but now's the time to start to plan these out. These are the calendar dates that are most important when it comes to graduation. Let me know, are you graduating a high school senior this year? What's on your calendar that you've been most concerned about being aware of well in advance? Leave me a comment and let me know. And thanks so much for stopping by. We'll have more senior year tips soon. Take care.